preached a message a long time ago called Understanding the Ministry of the Holy Spirit in Prophecy. Yep. And I encourage everybody to go back. It's difficult to hear because it's wordy. But if you listen to that message, a lot of this is in there. Where there's chaos and confusion. God utters, it says. Right. And then the Spirit moves across the face of the deep. The face of the chaos and confusion. And hovers over it to bring forth life. He said all that before he even made man. Yeah. Yeah. And then he comes and says, let us make man in our image and our likeness. He does the same thing with man. The Holy Spirit is now hovering over man in the earth, working to bring about life and life in man. And we have the first fruits of what that Holy Spirit has done in us now, bringing about a peace, a joy, a love, a kindness that's incorruptible. And we'll see the final fulfillment of what was prophesied in Genesis in the day Jesus steps foot back on the earth. Let us make man in our image, in our likeness. He see, he was actually he wasn't just saying that's what it will be now. He was prophesying of his design and intent with man. Right. Now listen, we're beautiful and our design is in the image and likeness of God. We're beautiful to God. We're perfect in God's eyes as, as far as image and likeness and design. But the final fulfillment of God saying, let us make man in our image and our likeness is in an event called the adoption of sons, where he comes and he reveals man to be clothed in the same glory he's clothed in and to have the same immortality that he has. And that's when it says in Romans 8 about the sons of God mm -hmm. being put on display and then all of creation being redeemed at the same time that man's body is redeemed. Why? Because man was made from the substance of creation. You know, and so that will be the final fulfillment of let us make man in our image and our likeness. Yeah. So the, the atonement is more about God fulfilling that. Yeah. Let us make man in our image and our likeness. Let us find heaven and earth as one, and let us find ourselves enjoying life with man for all eternity on earth. Yeah. I, I, I don't... I don't